Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here. We're back at City Walk. And we're going to Big Fire. Big Fire, this place is finally reopened. We hear great things. We hear they have a delicious plant-based sauce for the princess. Do they? Yes, so we're gonna go oh, and check it out. Really? Be sure to Big Fire? I don't know what this place is. You heard the girl. With an almond schmear. Um. Hmm. Okay. It actually tastes like it's lightly fried and not charred. So it has like a really oily taste to it, which is interesting. I like the almond schmear, but I think it would be better if it wasn't fried, if it was actually like charred. Other than that, pretty nice. Nice. Like in a, in a good way. So, a nice crispy Brussels sprout. With this ridiculous looking pirate blade they give you. A little pepper. The smear goes with it really well. The pepper and the crispness on the outside. I'm gonna make up for the fact that it's not like super soft like you expect a rusted roast sprout, but it's still pretty good. I give that three and a half out of five plus. This isn't cut very well. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm murdering it. It's ah better than the cow. That was really difficult. It smells like sourdough. Okay. It tastes fresh. It's freshly made, house made, pretty delicious for a sourdough. It's not very like um, strong in flavor, it's very light, it's good. So dig into this bread here. It's, oh, it is very hot and it does not cut very well, even for me. Oh, bread down. So, uh, oh, another, another knife. Another. So you have peach preserves and this herbed butter. Small bit. peach preserves it'll be peach candy like it's that sort of like intense sweet with the citrus I, I swear that I tasted like orange rind in there somewhere two out of five paws literally not my jam and then this herb butter which you can see the herbs bread's good Use the butter liberally. It's definitely my favorite over peach preserve. You're at five plus. So this is a white old fashioned. It has what we're calling a brain in it. I don't know. It looks like a seed, but it's scary. I, yeah. Ooh, it tastes like a light in flavor lemonade. This is dangerous, and I like it a lot. The whole idea of a white old-fashioned just seems oddly wrong to me. 
and it just looks wrong. It's like, have you seen like Alien? Like the, the bats? No. Thankfully it doesn't taste bad. Does that taste lemon cello? Maybe? How bad though? Three to five plus. Oh no. That's I don't hard. I don't like PB and J. Smells weird. That does not taste like PB or J. That just tastes like bourbon. Well, it's PB and J, old fashioned. I couldn't resist. Huge chunk of ice. It's not bad. It's really smooth. So the bitters are there, but they're like right at the bottom. But uh, it's very drinkable. I give this a three out of five loss. Blackberry. Oh, blackberry old fashioned. Now this I think I can get behind. That's a slow slipper. Oh my goodness. This is the strongest drink yet. Here we have the blackberry old fashioned. Can't go wrong with blackberry and whiskey or bourbon at all. Ooh, I like that. I got a lot. Four to five plus. Blue, I think it was blueberry lemonade. Ooh, this is the winner right here. This is the winner. <laughs> and then the raspberry lemonade, which looks super refreshing. Ooh. That's dangerous. Put that down. I have the last throughout the night. That's a five out of five plus. That I like. That I like. There's lemon on here too. This is the biggest um, amount of, largest amount of cauliflower steak I've ever had on a plate in my life. There's some, uh, I'm just gonna take a small area over here. There's farro and sauce and they did some great tomatoes. I'm just kind of worried because this is so large that it's gonna be raw in the middle. It seems rather easy to cut though. Yeah. Hmm. The lemon might have been a bad choice. It's not flavored at all. It is charred, which is good. And it's it's cooked, which is also good. It's not hard or raw in the middle like I thought. Maybe that PTSD from the last veggies I got at Bayliner Diner. The problem is actually the vegetables. They're not fully cooked. They're still somewhat raw, so they're a little like hardened. But um, I don't think I would order it again. It's a little too much cauliflower for me, and a little too bland. But I'm going to eat it. So this is literally vegan for two. Like this isn't, I don't think they left any of the, the cauliflower for anybody else. It's literally an entire head of cauliflower. But I appreciate the cut because I cannot cut cauliflower this way. Let's get in here. It's like chopping down a tree almost. Got some of the watercress. Let's get it in the sauce. A little bit of fennel. Good tomato on top already. Without the branch, hopefully. There we go. 
I feel like this is one of those dishes where you have to get a little bit of everything in order to get all the flavors. I always worry with some of these plant-based dishes is that it's just some variation of what a salad would be. This is one of those things where everything is better together, but sadly the cauliflower is probably the weakest part. The sauce is amazing, the fennel is great, the tomatoes, perfectly roasted. The watercress on top, on top is a nice touch, but the, the cauliflower had just a little bit more seasoning. It would be really good. But this is definitely something I can order on my own and be full afterwards. Not that I didn't want to try to eat this whole thing by myself. I give this three and a half out of five points. And see, now we have the same. This looks like a normal person for a human being. Like a meal for one, unlike the cauliflower. The salmon looks perfectly grilled. Perfectly flaky, just falls apart. That is how a salmon should be cooked. Not overcooked, not undercooked. Falls apart in your mouth. No need to chew it. Four out of five. Ooh, thank you. So we have the trout. Nicely displayed, laid out. It looks beautiful. It's almost like a seafood work of art right there. That's like Instagram ready right there. But let's go for the vegetables first. Asparagus is. Mm. It's like lightly salted and buttered. Tender all the way through like asparagus should be. Some people get that wrong, so that's good. Actually, these al gratin potatoes. Bit more cheese than I was expecting. I'm gonna need a magic pill for this. Mm. Perfect amount of char, perfect amount of cheese without being too oily, which is always what I'm worried about with Algon potatoes. That is uh, four to five cloves for potatoes, asparagus, three and a half out of five cloves. As for this fish, a nice roasted lemon, light squeeze over top. This is good, right? Don't need this. Herby without being overpowering. Let's try a little bit of this tarragon aioli. Mm. Just like the salmon, the trout's cooked perfectly. The aioli, not my jam. That sort of kind of throws off the fish for me. But the fish by itself is perfectly cooked, it falls apart. I don't eat trout very often, but it's still really, really good. If you don't like strong, like, sea taste, seafood taste, this probably isn't the one for you. This salmon would probably be a better bet, but this is still really good. Three and a half out of five plus. This is the pork belly mac and cheese. Yeah. All right, that's yep. Try a little bit of this. A small okay. bite, because I don't want to die. That's like grandma used to make. Four to five blossoms. Hello, everybody. Princess and Bear here. What? Wait, we're already here. What am I talking about? We're, anyway. We're done. We're done. We just finished that. Big fire. Big fire. So, we heard a lot about this place. We've been waiting for it to reopen. It's open. We went and we ate. It's nice. It is. I was surprised. It wasn't as expensive as I expected it to be. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but when you get like something on two sides, it sort of works out. I feel like it's cheaper than STK. Yeah, definitely. Um, the food? Average. Average. Yeah. I mean, it, 
I like what I got. There's some other things I mean you like to try. I think it's in a place that we do for drinks, though. Yeah, I think it's better for more drinks. More than any place. We'll definitely go, go back to drink. The probably bar on the that, that side. How far sick was just ridiculously Way huge. Way too much. But we definitely want to know, have you guys been there? If so, the comments will be place. Let us know. Hit the notification bell. You want to get notified of other videos like this because... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Mm -hmm.